Okay, we're going to start with the connections. Uh, that has to do with anything that hooks the truck and trailer together, meaning the two airlines and the electrical line, as well as the fifth wheel and kingpin. And we'll go ahead and start with the, the two airlines into the truck. And we have our red emergency line that makes sure that it's securely mounted to the truck and there's no leaks that we can hear. And we'll go over and check the blue emergency line into the truck and make sure it's securely mounted as well and that there's no leaks that we can hear as well there either. And then we'll go into the green electrical line and it's securely mounted to the truck and that the safety latch is in place here and that'll keep the the line, the, the electrical line in place for when you're going around a corner and you won't lose the, the electricity to the trailer. And then we'll just go ahead and proceed and we'll look at the actual lines themselves and uh, we'll go ahead and look at them one at a time as well. We'll just kind of look as we can see where there's a red emergency line here and here and here and we just kind of look through and make sure that there's no cuts, abrasions, there's no tape on it and we can't hear any leaks as well. And then we'll do the same with the blue blue service line. We'll just look at it as well and make sure that there's no damage, no cuts, no splits, no tape, and we can't hear any leaks as well. And then we'll do the same with the green electrical line. We'll just go ahead and look at that for the same kind of damage and cuts and splits. And also we want to make sure there's there's no electrical tape on there and we want to make sure that there's no wires sticking out or exposed as well. And then one last thing we want to make sure that it's not none of the wires or, or the electrical wire or the air hoses are dragging on the catwalk because that can produce holes and, and chafes and, and cause leaks and cause damage as well. And then we're going to go ahead and proceed into the, the connections into the trailer here and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the connection at the glad hands for the for the um, emergency airline, make sure it's securely mounted and not leaking. And we'll also look at the black seals or blue or red, whatever color they are, they're inside of there and we make sure they're not damaged, cut or they're leaking. And we can take them off, but most CDL exams you don't have to, you just talk about what you would look at. And then the same thing over here on the service line, the, the glands are secure, they're not, there's no audible leaks. And then we'll also look in here for the seal that it's not damaged on the inside or cut, split, or missing. And we'll go ahead and check the electrical line as well, make sure it's securely mounted and that the safety latch is in place. So it'll hold it so when you go around a corner you won't, won't lose electricity to your trailer. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and start working back towards the fifth wheel and we we look and these are just kind of pictures to kind of show you what what the fifth wheel looks like without the trailer. As you can see here the release handle is pulled out all the way and that's when it's hooked to a trailer you want to make sure that it's in position so that it, it will pull the trailer. You just need to look that because sometimes people get upset or they got fired recently or something and they'll go around and pull those out so always make that a habit of, of looking underneath your trailer to your fifth wheel release handle and make sure that it's in the in position and then it kind of looks like this from the back and as you can see across there there's no locking jaws or locking bar and once you get and engage the kingpin the shaft that's hooked to the trailer in here then the, the bars will engage themselves and the release handle will go in and then you'll be secure and then we'll go ahead and look what it looks like when we actually have the fifth wheel hooked to the trailer. And we'll just, the easiest way is just to start at the top and work your way down. So we'll, we'll look here at the bottom of the trailer. There's a big piece of metal hook there. It's called the apron. And it's not cracked or broken or damaged. And we also want to look in between the skid plate, which is this, and the, and the apron, make sure there's not a gap. And we also want to make sure it's properly greased in there as, in, in, in here as well. So we, we look at that. So we've kind of gone from the top. And then we go ahead and talk about the actual, sorry about that. <laughs> this is what we call the skid plate. And it's uh, the big old piece of metal there that pivots on the platform. And it's not cracked, bent, damaged, any of that. And we make sure this pin, 
the safety pin is in, in position and there's also a counter key in there holding it in and that just holds the pivot pin which is actually in here that lets the lets the skid plate rotate through the through the platform then we'll go down and we'll go ahead and talk about the platform here which is this piece here that is securely mounted to the frame down here by these L brackets and these bolts that are here and they're also here and so that the platform isn't damaged or cut or, or bent or anything and it's securely mounted to the frame by the L brackets and the bolts that aren't broken or missing. Now if we do have a sliding fifth wheel you can tell by the pins here and by the electric, not electrical, the airline um, when you hit the, the little switch up in the cab it shoots air through the airline and these pins go back and so that you can technically move this whole assembly back or forward depending on on which way you want to go after you set your trailer brakes and then the other thing we want to make sure to check as we kind of talked before is the release handle and make sure that's in the in position and that's very very important and then we'll just go ahead and work our way around to the back and as you can see we've got the kingpin that is here and that's hooked to the trailer and that's a big old shaft there and it's not bent broken cracked and then we also are going to look that the locking jaws are securely around it or in this case there's a locking bar right here that goes across and holds it in there so you want to make sure that those are both secure there and then when we come out from under there we can also look and make sure that when we do make a turn and it, and it does turn that we have enough clearance here to to go ahead and not hit the, the back of the frame or the landing gear or any of that and then that's pretty much all you've got to talk about for your connections I hope this helps you thank you